to the show. Now, joining me on the show is Kola de Morakinyo. Now, he is a sound editor, sound designer, and a film score composer. I mean, he just won AMVCAs, this last AMVCAs. Uh, um, he also is the creative head of Vice of Sunny Arts. He is a team of young, vibrant professionals, young audio technicians, and they service advertising houses, film houses, and every other thing that needs film score composing. <laughs> He's joined me to welcome Kala into the show. You are welcome. Thank you. So now you. these days it's hard to catch you since you won the award. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's been a very interesting journey. And, um, you know, starting all out as a musician at my earlier... You were a musician? Yeah, yeah. Not a singer? Not a singer, oh, a musician. Okay. I learned how to play the piano oh. when I was very young. My dad was a pianist too, so taught me how to play the instruments. So you had church boys Yeah, yeah, you know that kind of background, gotcha. Gotcha. church music and all that. So um, along the line, I had to go into other things, mathematics. Study okay. mathematics at um, Federal University of Technology at Kure, Okay. Then NYC and all that, meet to date us. But I'd, throughout that period of time, I'd have this, I'd, I've had this interest in um, film sound. Yeah, actually, I met someone when I was in school back then in the, in the UK. A guy came to Nigeria and was introduced, introduced me to all these digital audio workstations, like um, things of is the like of the band and the, and the likes used to create beats with their computers. So oh, that was okay. I got the band used to do that. Yeah, you know the band on Jazzy and all, you know I mean I mean all these yeah. musicians what they use oh, for no, their they're music. music producers. Basically. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So. Their tools, I was introduced to most of their tools, and you know, imagine having that kind of idea back then in the days when all your colleagues are about books and all that. Oh. You understand? So I just had to latch onto that and see where I could make out of that. Fine, I didn't get um, the support of my parents entirely because they really wanted me to go into mathematics, they really want something to you know, divert my attention from. from they wanted you to go into mathematics, yeah. The parents wanted you to go into mathematics. Exactly. Okay, well, that's, that's just a little bit odd. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, because back in the days, you, you have to have to do a professional course. Be a doctor, yeah, they, 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 a lawyer, they, 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 or they, <laughs> something that's this, prestigious. This, 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 like, what are you going to do in mathematics? This is, my, this, is, this is my parents' idea about mathematics. They believe, oh. they believe if you have that background, you can virtually work anywhere, which is very true. Okay. It is very true anywhere. because anywhere you can even work in a law firm, you can work in you can work in a law firm as an accountant. It's just for you to get as an accountant. It's just for you to get professional certifications, and before you know it, you can add anything. You can be an actuarist. You can be you can be whatever you want to be. You can work in a, in in a medical firm as a mathematician. It's That's just for you. Yeah, that, that that was their idea. And wow. really, I, 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 I well, they professionals. That. Well, my dad was a banker. Oh. But <laughs> I was a banker. He's retired now. He's retired okay. for many years now. My mom, civil service. So. <laughs> That's alright. I hear you. I understand. So now, um, so, when, line, how, so how did you progress from what? mathematics to? Well, what was it? Was it? It wasn't smooth. It wasn't smooth. It wasn't smooth. Yeah, it wasn't smooth. But um, what happened? It wasn't smooth for your parents. Well, to our next extent, I had to rebel. Uh, <laughs> it was bad, but I had to rebel in a, in a subtle manner. It wasn't like I was up in their face and rebelled. But I, I, okay, after I was, I got a job. I did a job for a month. I resigned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? What yeah. job? Um, I worked as um, um, eight or ten staff in an HR yeah. with mathematics. Yes. So you can see it's limitless. And the funniest thing is, within one month, I broke their record. I I brought in the most um, expensive. Let me use the word: the most expensive deal. I got them the most expensive deal. Interesting. Really, really interesting. Really, really interesting. That goes on to say that honestly, there's no business course. There's no business course. Really. There's no business course. Go ahead. I want to hear your story. I want to hear how you now progressed into. During that period of time working with them, I learned how to use uh, LinkedIn. Yeah, LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Using LinkedIn, I connected with um, a filmmaker, Femi Awujide. Okay. Um, Little did I know Femi Awujide to graduated from Futa. 
Okay. So I messaged him and told him, you know, the passion was, I want to go into film sound and all that. When he told me, he just started out that he doesn't have capacity to employ anybody now, but he has a shoot that he wants to do that. He's not paying me anything if I'm interested. Anything. So I, I decided I went over and that was my very first experience with Bill Thing. He, he liked me and then he told me about LTC. Funny enough, he took me to LTC and said, oh, this guy LTC is what? Um, an advertising agency. agency. Yeah, an advertising agency. Right. LCCJWT. Yeah. Yeah. So. I know them because of voiceovers. Yeah, they do a lot of voiceover recordings, yeah. TV commercials, yeah. radio yeah. commercials. Yeah. So they, they needed an assistant in the in the studio, and um, it was very difficult to get um, a professional because. Well, hold on a second. Just just sped up. Okay, yeah. so you this guy was on LinkedIn. Yeah. You connected with him on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. You read his profile. Yeah. And you fit into what you wanted to do. No, not really. He is more like someone that can, you know, when you, when you, when you try to connect with people, you look at what they can do yes. for them and what you can do for them. Yeah. It shouldn't be a one sided thing. Okay, what yeah. service can I render to this wow, guy? Yeah. And what does he have that I can, I can benefit from? Right. So that was the platform I presented that this is what I can do. I sent okay. some of my, my risks because back then, even without jobs, I do soundtracks, I do all those things. I just keep them. I just keep them. I just keep them. So wow. whenever I meet anybody, I just show to them that this is what I can do. Oh, nice. You understand? So we're always prepared. Prepared, exactly. So I just showed it to him. I'm like, this is good. So he took me over to LTC and um, and um, funny enough, throughout, funny, I, I got a job eventually. I never had a. Was a he formal, working at LTC? No. He worked with LTC. Yeah. Oh, he while he was him. while he was serving. Okay. Okay. While he was serving, so he had this connection with them. Right. So he was he was aware right. that they needed an assistant in the studio. Right. So that was why he took me there. Yeah. yeah. But funny enough, when I got there, they saw my CV, nothing had to do with. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I, to, yeah. <laughs> so I had to restructure the CV in a way that okay. will show what I've done because I had done a few stuff with some studios in the past done some freelancing here and there. Right. So I had to put everything there. So they just put me to test and that was it. It was I came out from my colours. And then, so they they really never had they never had to do any any formal interview for me. Even till I left. I never had a proper interview. They just tested me and just tested me immediately they just gave me my package and all. Just like that. Just like that. So just like that. A lot of those were broken. This is beautiful. This is really, really, really beautiful. I'm learning a lot of things. And you know, I think that this will go a long way to encourage a lot of people. Because in Nigeria particularly, there are people who actually don't don't know how to merge what they have read in school with their actual passion. But I find that you were able to keep pursuing your passion. I mean, even when the jobs are not coming, jobs yeah. are bring money, yeah. you kept on preparing yourself for that time when I mean it's amazing. We'll continue this conversation, but we need to get on a quick break. Let's go on a quick break. And when we get back, we'll meet Kamadi some more. Welcome back to the show. Now I have been joined by Kola De Morakino and I think he's, he's appealing actually. The conversation is actually appealing to a lot of young Nigerians because I find that in Nigeria, in Nigeria universities, they throw you courses. They throw courses at you. I mean, you can actually apply for a certain course and they just, you can apply for computer history, science and, they or computer you science and, they just, <laughs> and they give you a Greek. And then you have to just because you want to go through the fall to the university and have a certificate and a degree, and you just you know go along with that thing. And I find that people actually don't know exactly how to work with their passion, what they really like. After they have come out and graduated, it's their week. Now they really want to do computer science and want yeah. to do something, and they don't know. But, but your story is pretty amazing. I mean, you kept preparing yourself. You yeah. like music, you like film composing, film score composing, you like sound design, and you kept on doing that, you know, whilst you were working. Yeah. That's, that's beautiful. Thank you, thank you but I, I want to I want to still find out, yeah. how did you finally break it? That was an advertising agency you were yeah. working with. Yeah. How did you break into mainstream Nollywood? Because you're very popular, right? <laughs> well, um... I would say it was a different, it was a different journey entirely. Moving from, I won't say entirely different, but quite different because um, for you to leave a 
um, let's say paid employment to for you for you to migrate from paid employment to self employment, it's a very very big risk. It takes a lot of guts for you to do that. That was um, one bridge I had to cross right. mentally and, and ensure that I was prepared financially for that. So I had to make sure that I saved for a period of time before I resigned. Okay. Yeah. Served or saved? Saved. I mean, save saved. Money. I saved money. Oh, okay. I have to save money because if you if you, you can't just leave paid employment and go into self employment like right. that. Right. You understand? Because you will get frustrated. I tell you, you're, you're actually <laughs> appealing to a lot of Nigerians right now. Yeah. So, 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 yeah, you have to save. I had to save. I had to save. And while I was working, fine. You know how the ad agency is now? Everybody looks cute, everybody looks pretty, dresses well, and all that. But um, I knew what I was trying to do. I knew where I was going. So, I had to. Which I could upon all my processes and all that. So I saved, got the basic things I needed. I needed a PC, I needed speakers and all those things. Basic things that would get me running. So um, after that, I resigned. I had some cash with me. And before I resigned, I'd already been speaking with film houses. Okay. Yeah, I'd already been speaking with film private houses, productions. private production companies. companies. Yeah. So speaking to them, sending them my reels and all that. And, uh, when I left, sending them your reels. Your reels, yeah. So when I resigned, um, I, I got my first job with um, Seventeen to Five Productions, and um, it was a documentary. And I did it for was it DC Bank or something? I can't remember. So that was the first. What year was this? Twenty fifteen. It's not very far away. It's not. <laughs> and you just came like that. That's beautiful. Go ahead. I, I think. Ahead. I think. I think the reason why I I don't want the short span of my let me use the short success. span of my success to fool a lot of people because right. a lot of, a lot of things that have happened in the past. Right. They were because back in the, back in the days when I was in school, I know I did a lot of learning. I did a lot of learning because the question a lot of people will ask is how was I able to even pass the interview? Someone studied mathematics and which you were given an application to work Right, with. in an ad agency. An agency and how they you know, you know they, they practically gave me a script to produce a radio. Well, maybe they don't know what you did in the ad agency. Yeah, You exactly. were actually in audio, like, yeah. just for the sake of people watching. Yeah. You were what? Tell us yeah, I was I was a producer. We're a producer. Yeah. Yes. So basically, what we do is we do radio commercial. We produce radio yes. commercials. Yes. We give yes. a script. We get yeah. artists. I just wanted them to know. Yeah. So it was way different from what you were doing. Exactly. Before. Totally different. Totally different. And different. then you went for the interview and you knew it. Yes. Just because yes. you had been preparing, preparing before. before. Yeah. Yeah. Apart from that, though, there were some other things I learned on the job. Not like I had an idea of everything, but the basic technical things I needed to to function. I had them, so I was prepared. So, because even back in, in back in this when I was I was even a class rep, so I was living a double life. I, right. I was when I was in school, I was the book guy. Yeah. When I'm back at my hostel, I'm the producer. Right. So I'm just doing the two right. <laughs> at the same time. So back to the story. Um, a lot of people will think it just happened overnight. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, there's been a lot of preparation. preparation. Exactly. So, and you know how they say that is the success is like a preparedness meeting opportunity. opportunity. Yeah. And that's it. And that's exactly, exactly. your case. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. So you started getting in touch with film houses. You went to meet them, yeah. setting your reels, reels to them, to them yeah. and then they started calling you. Yeah. But the thing is, that's not really a popular thing in Nigeria. It is not. Film score composing. I mean, what you do is crazy. Yeah. And you post some things on Instagram. You use you use bottles, bottles to yeah. make sound. Yeah. You use um. What were you using one time? <laughs> Was it nylon or no, what, what, stuff, what? Yeah. and stuff, and then you are using a, a pillow, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, just to create certain yeah. sound effects. And no, I saw someone punching. You know, there was a fight scene, and yeah. then ah, it, it, it's, it's it, um, I believe information is power. Right. Um, the thing that we should ask our youth is, what do they use internet to do? Mm. That's a very big question because um, the very first year, twenty fifteen, when I resigned, I didn't get jobs like that. Let's say I, get, I, I got jobs, let's say every one job every four months. Right. So it's not like I get jobs yeah. consistently. But you prepared yourself for it, exactly. and you the saving. Yeah, yeah. So wow. at least I make sure whatever I do um, stands out, and whatever I pre present out to a new client, 
they are impressed and they really want to work with me. Yeah. You know, so, so I, I, um, <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you, were, you were saying of how you were prepared. This is how prepared. Yeah, this is the story yeah. of how prepared you were. Because really, 2015 to 2018 is a short time. Yeah, true. true, true. Like, it's, it's, it's a very short time. time. But, but like you said, let's not be fooled by that. Yeah. You start in this short time. Yeah, true. You, you, you've been preparing a long time for this. This is this is, this is that type of story that, <laughs> that moved me. You're, this is highly inspirational. I mean, you're, you've been, there's been a lot of deliberateness about your life, yeah, that's what I see, yeah. a lot of deliberateness. You knew what you wanted, yeah. and you started preparing beforehand for know, it. Yeah. But like I was saying, that this is not a very popular thing in Nigeria. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I, I, was saying, yeah I was talking about it, what you to do with internet. Yes. I My access to internet back then was channeled towards the Hollywood and not understanding what they do when it comes to sound for film. So you were researching that? I saw a lot of wow. things, and I found that there was an opening, a gap in Hollywood, and I prepared myself for that. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Okay, so please hold that thought. Welcome back to the show. I'm still talking with Kola Devos inspiring young man right now in Hollywood <laughs> because your story is such an inspiration okay but I will ask you though I was saying that film score composing is not quite popular yes. in Nigeria so let me ask you why how did you even think that this would be a thing how did you think that you would make money from something that is really not very very appreciated or existing Existence well, at the time. Um, I think it was based on the school of thought. I, 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 I got back in it. Just, just think about this. Um, someone that makes shoes goes to the community and they don't wear shoes. His thoughts could be, I don't need to make shoes for them. They don't, they don't need shoes because they don't wear shoes. Another right. thought could be, they need shoes because they don't wear shoes. Right. So it's a function of your belief. Right. So if you have an idea, then don't let anybody stop you. So I right. think that was my case. I, just, I was just determined to go ahead with the idea. I think you saw a need, you identified yeah. a need, and you went on to fill that exactly. need. And one exactly. more thing, the gap. Hollywood versus money. Do you think we're closing it up fast, or do you think we still have a very long list? Well, um, the challenge is we are not closing it up very fast because we have a lot of factors. It's right. not like we are not working. Right. We are working, but. Nollywood is not sitting on their hands either. Right. Those guys are moving. I like, know you like you. <laughs> like I usually say, I say that Nollywood is part of Nigeria. Yes. So Nollywood yes. is part of a bigger problem. Problem, exactly. Yeah. But we 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 have made a lot of progress. progress. Yeah, we were but, still making yeah, progress. Exactly. We'll get there one day. We'll nice. So <laughs> now it's time to give things light and airy. It's time for random things, random thoughts, uh, random questions. Okay. So I'll be asking you very random questions. What's your taste in women? Well, the funniest part is I get attracted to women who are intelligent. Oh, safe to say a sapiens sexual. <laughs> yeah, yeah. sexual is people who are attracted to people. To the mind, yeah. to the mind. Yeah. Nice. So, so you're not marrying or what somebody? Not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> Since you don't see fine cheeks. Not that. I appreciate beautiful women. Right. But the thing is, if I can't have um, the cerebral conversation with them, right. I can't connect with them. Right. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. I know you're into music and all of that. What's your favorite? What's your favorite genre of music? Music? Um, oh. It's difficult now because I listen to a lot of genre right now because of the right. nature of my Yeah, genre. right, right. right. Back in the days, what was jazz? Oh, okay, Yeah. So, what's your favorite food? Favorite food? I can't, I can't really say right now. <laughs> so, you just chow, chow. My, taste, as my as taste has changed because of work. That's the challenge. What do you mean? Well, um, time and Based on the nature of what we do and all that, you tend to lose interest in a lot of things. Because when you have a lot of deadlines on your on your on your mind and you 
have a so lot of So you're not a food person? I'm not a food person. So I was. Like, I was. Really? I was a food person. So what this, this is very time consuming? Very time consuming. Very tasking? Yeah. Interesting. Nice. Well, they think you're coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wish you progress. Do Kolade, you're becoming very, very sad. You know, I knew you. I knew you went with the LCC. Yeah. Or when you're just leaving the LCC. I'm all of this, so you're not doing spot star. You're not boring. Not giving fine voice. Thank you. Thank it's you for really coming on the show. And that's all we have for you today on Conversations with Mary Jane. Please watch out for us on Netflix. Thank you. Bye bye.